In this video, I want to talk about five innovations that we've developed at Decent Espresso that make for better tasting espresso, possibly better than you've ever tasted before. So the first and the most significant one is based on how we actually decide on the temperature of the water in making espresso. So before Decent Espresso's approach, everyone focused on the, what's called the boiler temperature, which is the water temperature coming out of the boiler going in here to your coffee grinds. At the same time, everyone in the professional industry knew that the portafilter, which is a big hunk of metal, often not that warm, and the grounds, which are usually room temperature, cool the water really significantly. So if you, for example, want to make your espresso at a 92 degree infusion temperature, you put water in that's 92, you're actually probably around 87, 88 degrees for the first five or 10 seconds because the grinds are cooling the water that goes in. Then the water temperature will climb and the end of your infusion will be close to the set temperature. At Decent Espresso, we've not used a boiler. Instead, what we've done is a water mixing technology where we mix water that's slightly too hot with room temperature water dynamically in a mixing chamber back here so that we can immediately and very precisely set the water temperature that's going into the coffee grinds. So there's two modes on the espresso machine here. One is our traditional mode, works like a boiler. The other is to use the temperature probe that is directly above the coffee grinds and tell the espresso machine that this is the brew temperature you're looking for. The espresso machine will automatically use what's called temperature profiling, which is to say it varies the temperature of the water in order to get that infusion temperature as close as possible to your goal as quickly as possible. Now that's the kind of thing you get in a pour over where you have a ton of water and not too much coffee beans. It all gets infused the same temperature. But in espresso, that's not the case. So what we're trying to do is use this insight that has come from the world of pour over coffee and use it here. And it finally gives a good reason for temperature profiling, which a few high-end machines have had, but people haven't been able to figure out what we're going to do with it. Well, the reason is it was just too complicated to do something if you had to program it all. So we came up with the idea of the infusion temperature being the goal, and let the espresso machine vary the water temperature for you to get there.